We're also joined um, by uh, Mahmoud Mandani. Um, Mahmoud Mandani is a Columbia University professor who addressed students participating in the Gaza Solidarity Encampment on the South Lawn in Columbia's campus, professor of government and the author of a number of books, including Neither Settler Nor Native, The Making and Unmaking of Permanent Minorities. Professor Mandani, welcome back to Democracy Now! Um, if you can just respond to what's happening, describe the scene as you gave your address. To the students, you've spoken several times at the encampment. I was asked by uh, the Columbia Divest Committee uh, to give a talk on uh, the historical origins of the divestment campaign, um, particularly in South Africa. Uh, and I and I gave a talk which uh, basically outlined. Um, that divestment was a response to settler colonialism. And I explained to them how you identify settler colonialism as a regime which has different sets of rules and laws for different groups of people in the same society. And secondly, the point of these different rules and laws is to uh, regulate uh, unequal access to public resources, all the way from residence to occupation to public health to education and so on. And finally, that this state, which enforces this unequal treatment, um, institutionalized, legally enforced unequal treatment of different groups, this state, its sovereignty is under the group that benefits from this inequality. So that's the talk that I gave. Um, then the next day, I was invited back to talk again, um, because we had organized a faculty panel on anti-Semitism. And the point of this panel was to consider the report, the first report of the anti-Semitism task force set up by the university. There were five of us on the panel, um, and uh, I was invited to, to talk about the panel, um, which I did. Uh, and, I, and I told them that uh, we went through this report, we combed through this report, uh, because we, there had been, prior to the issue of the report, there had been a faculty discussion on what is anti-Semitism. And the co-chair of the panel had sort of said that, no, we don't have a definition of anti-Semitism, but we know it when we hear it or when we see it. Um, she was using a, a, a judge's response uh, to a question decades ago uh, on, on, on what you understand by pornography. But the problem was that this particular panel was supposed to educate the campus. So for the rest of us who don't know it when we see it or hear it, what is anti-Semitism? Um, so we were reading the report to, to see if there was an answer in this. And there was only one sentence in this report which referred to uh, anti-Semitism. And that sentence said roughly, I'm just paraphrasing it here, that many Jewish students uh, who support the state of Israel are afraid. And many other Jewish students who are critical of the state of Israel are also afraid. So this was no evidence of anti-Semitism. This was evidence of a dividing, uh, uh, of, a, of, a, of an increasing polarization amongst Jewish students, those for and those against uh, the state of Israel. Um, Apart from that, the entire report was like a law and order uh, uh, report. It was all about what kind of regulations, uh, what kind of notice needs to be given in advance, uh, where students can uh, gather to demonstrate, where they cannot gather to demonstrate, the hours, et cetera, et cetera. Um, prior to that report, there had been a a, a statement signed by 18 deans of Columbia University, which identified a set of slogans 
uh, which they said believed had 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 uh, created and in, incited uh, uh, the 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 climate on campus and these slogans included uh, from the river to the sea uh, intifada uh, by any means necessary etc cetera, etc cetera. there were i think about 6 7 slogans um i had written a piece in in the spectator uh, say, say, saying the student newspaper that, sorry the student newspaper uh, the, the the spectator the, the columbia university newspaper so I'd written a piece in it saying that these seven, eight different uh, uh, expressions uh, indicated the lines of differences within the campus. And, and, and what's the point of saying that these should not be discussed? Um, if, we, if we want a discussion, uh, uh, then, then, then we should promote a discussion on this, um, not, not, not silence different voices on it. I, I, want, Any... I so, wanted to get your response very quickly to um, the president, uh, to the White House, um, to read you a statement from Andrew Bates, the White House deputy press secretary, who said, while every American has the right to peaceful um, protection, uh, for, to peaceful protect, calls for violence and physical intimidation targeting Jewish students and the Jewish community are blatantly anti-Semitic, unconscionable and dangerous. They have absolutely no place on any college campus or anywhere in the United States of America. And echoing the rhetoric of terrorist organizations, especially in the wake of the worst massacre committed against the Jewish people since the Holocaust, is despicable. We condemn these statements in the strongest terms. Uh, the White House Deputy Press Secretary said. Your response, Professor Mamdani. Well, I think calls for violence against any group of students, against Jewish students, against non-Jewish students, these are despicable. They need to be taken seriously, and they need to be dealt with. But we need to be sure that all disciplining is done after proper investigation and due process. There has been no due process on the Columbia campus. There has been no proper investigation. The Columbia University president spoke to the University Senate and laid out her plans, and the Senate disagreed unanimously. And still, she went ahead. In the past, the response to differences on the Columbia campus have been negotiations. She has not resorted, she's not even talked about negotiations. And finally, do you plan to go back to give a speech? And your final comments on the lockdown right now, all uh, in-person classes canceled, um, online classes only, Professor Mamdani. There is a 12 o'clock meeting of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences in Low Library. I will attend that meeting. And then there is a 2 p.m. gathering of faculty on the steps of Low Library. And I will also be attending that gathering. Well, we thank you so much for being with us. Mahmoud Mandani is a professor of government in the anthropology department at Columbia University, who's addressed the students participating in the Gaza Solidarity encampment on Columbia's campus several times last week.